To create a text image in Photoshop, first thing you want to do is open up Adobe Photoshop CS5 from the Adobe Master Collection folder in the program menu. Next thing you want to do is go to File, Open, and then you are going to go to the distribution drive. Yours will look a little bit different than mine. You have to find my name, which is KDbold. Then when you get to my folder, you're going to double click on the woods folder and open the text underscore image. What I did here is just created a default size for you that will work well with your video. So once you're here, this white space is going to be where you draw your image or write your image, I guess. Then you're going to choose the T text tool from the left hand toolbar. And then up here is a drop down arrow. This is the character menu where you character menu, excuse me, where you can choose your font. And I'm just going to choose a simple font. And I'm also going to choose a size. For now, let's just do 36 and see what that looks like. And I'm just going to write. Oh, real quick. Um, another thing you want to do is set your text color by double clicking on this white box. And I'm just going to choose a blackish color. Now, we'll make it a little bit bigger and go ahead and write. Always make sure the laid guards down. Okay, now what I want to do since this is not in the middle, so I'm going to grab the move tool, which is the very topmost tool on the toolbar. And now I can move this all the way to the middle. And if I want to change one of the words, change the font or change the color, I go back to the T tool and I just highlight what word I want to change, either the color, the font, or the size. And I'm just gonna select a new font here real quick for this one word. This is the bubble letters. And you can see that it changes the font for me. I'm gonna move my layer over again. All right, now when it looks the way you want it to for your video, file, save as. Now you want to go to your student drive. Mine, look, again, looks a little different than yours. Go into your student drive. In here, you should have some type of folder for your project. Um, mine's the video folder. And then I'm going to save it in there. Most important down here is make sure your format is set to JPEG. Okay? Format set to JPEG. Double click inside of my folder. And then I'm going to name it Image, Save. And then just go ahead and click OK on the JPEG Options window. And your image is saved and ready to go.